Hello everyone, I'm glad to see you on my YouTube channel. You are watching the first video here and I hope that you will spend uh, this time uh, with, uh, with interest. Let me introduce myself. Uh, first of all, my name is Svetoslav. I am a volunteer from Kharkiv. I am a Kharkiv resident. I help with my family, for people, for refugees, for sick people, for cancer people uh, to survive during this war. We try to save people and we try to do our best uh, to make something for people who uh, need help. I hope that this video will be interesting for English spoken people all over the world who would like to see some necessary information, some interesting information from Ukraine, from Kharkiv, from people who live inside this war, uh, who can uh, truly and honestly describe the situation here in Ukraine to answer your question and so on and so on. Uh, we are volunteers from the very beginning of this war with Russian Federation. Uh, some times ago I managed, uh, I had an opportunity to make uh, weekly video reports on BEAMS platform. Uh, it was like streams uh, each Thursday, but unfortunately BEAMS organizers had to close BEAMS platform and uh, I had no possibilities to continue making this video reports for you and I decided to start uh, my video on YouTube. Uh, I may speak not so good in English but I try uh, to do my best to describe you some interesting facts about our volunteer work, about uh, war situation in Ukraine, uh, to describe you some news, some interesting information and so on and so on. Please subscribe this channel, please do not hesitate to write some comments, do not hesitate to ask your question. Uh, let's be friends, let's support it as, each other, sorry for my English, and uh, I hope that you will be interested in my videos. I would like to make a video weekly, as I said before, perhaps each Thursday or so on, uh, something like that. So, uh, about my team. Uh, we are volunteers in Kharkiv, as I said, there are uh, several members in my team. This is, first of all, me, my mother, she's a doctor, she's also a YouTube blogger, she describes uh, also the situation in Kharkiv. My father, uh, my aunt, my, uh, how, my cousin, yes, sorry, and my grandma. Uh, there are five people. Uh, we had, we have three cars uh, and we deliver necessary stuff, food, clothes, medicine, drugs, uh, whatever uh, else to people who need care. Uh, you will see uh, on my words some video reports, some photos, some uh, proofs of our volunteer work for you in order you can uh, you can believe me and so on uh, in uh, in general uh, in uh, last year we spent more than six million of greenness uh, for our volunteer work in Kharkiv in Kharkiv region it's about uh, one thousand and fifty hundred thousands of dollars I'm sorry, it's very hard to pronounce this amount of money. You can watch the description of this video to see these numbers in a written way. Uh, this year we have lack of donation, we have lack of own ma money to support people because uh, the situation uh, keep going, the war keep going, people become poor and poor. As, as we are and uh, that's why we had some difficulties to find money to find donation to help people but still 
in this year we managed to spend more than 15,000 of dollars it's about 600,000 of grivnas uh, during this year this is not so much money as we wanted to spend but still we did it uh, this month uh, was very difficult because we have uh, lack of money, lack of donations, but still uh, we visited child hospice in Kharkiv and uh, we managed to buy some toys, food, sweeties for kids in hospice. It's about uh, 700 of kids uh, who received some help from us and from another volunteers in Kharkiv. In the same time, we have some families who has who have cancer patients, patient who have uh, very poor situation because of the war, who have uh, destroyed total totally destroyed houses, people who live without any clothes, without any possibilities to keep living, and we visit with families. We provide them foods, packages of food. We provide them some necessary equipment for these people, clothes, uh, some uh, treatment, some, um, sometimes we provide money uh, for people uh, try, f f we do this uh, for these people to improve their life situation for a little bit. Yes, and I hope you will see right now some reports of this and so on. In general, situation in Kharkiv and Kharkiv region uh, not so stable as we would like to have because uh, almost each day or each night Russians attack our position, our area in Kharkiv in the middle of the city. For, like uh, We have some fires, we have some injuries, we have some explosions almost daily almost nightly mm, the same situation close to the border with belgorod region this is russian federation the same situation with uh, another uh, Kharkiv region areas and so on right now i'm situated in odessa this is sorry this part of ukraine uh, this city situated on the on the Black Sea. We have uh, a lot of uh, beaches of the Black Sea. Sorry, and uh, you may know, you you may not not know about uh, Kachovska Hydro Power Plant Station, which was destroyed some times ago. And here in Odessa right now, we have very uh, strong and severe situation with Kherson region, with Nikolaev region, uh, a lot of villages, a lot of cities, a lot of people, a lot of houses are under the water because of uh, destruction Kachovska Hitra Power Electric Station. Unfortunately, we have here very bad ecologic situation. Uh, the sea is very dirty. The sea is very dangerous for people, uh, for animals, for everybody who uh, is very close to the sea. It's forbidden to swim in the Black Sea right now. It's forbidden to walk near the, the Black Sea right now. Uh, it's very dangerous in, in real time. It's really very dirty. It smells very bad. It's, uh, looks, uh, it looks very bad, so to say. I will add some videos about situation in the Black Sea. And uh, I can tell you for sure that uh, this year it will be impossible to swim in the Black Sea. Uh, it's very dangerous for health. Uh, it's really very, very severe ecological situation. Uh, with the Black Sea uh, for all the years of Ukraine, for the whole year of independence of Ukraine, unfortunately because of Russians. We have some bad situation around 
Запориж... Запорожская Nuclear Power Station. You may know call in Russian ZS. Uh, in English, it's uh, the Parisian uh, nuclear power plant station. This is the biggest power uh, nuclear power plant in Europe. Uh, six reactors, and uh, this is um, power plant was occupied by Russian, uh, control uh, by Russian for right now, and uh, our governments in Ukraine told us yesterday that it, that it is mined uh, by Russians. And if suddenly we had an explosion on this uh, nuclear power, power plant station, it will uh, be a hugest nuclear uh, disaster in the world of ever. Chernobyl uh, disaster will be uh, really will be a very small and a little uh, in comparison with uh, the Parisia uh, nuclear power plant station, unfortunately. And we hope that it never happened. We will liberate this area, we will save this power plant and so on. In general, we have uh, um, so I don't know how to spell it in English. We have uh, our army try to liberate uh, occupied area right now. You may know about this from news. And I can tell you that we have some succeeded and we have some uh, defeats, unfortunately. Uh, when you have to attack some places, it's very dangerous and it's very difficult because of mined territory, because of preparation of, uh, the, of uh, Russian troops and so on and so on. So we are keep watching news uh, about this, uh, our Ukrainian attacks about liberation and uh, occupied territory and so on. Unfortunately, I can tell you more exact news because this is right now in process. We are still waiting for the news. But if we have some news, I will describe next uh, week for you uh, about uh, it. So, uh, I hope that you see some reports of my uh, volunteer work, of my family, of me. If you are interested in such reports in the future, I would like to ask you, first of all, to subscribe this channel. Secondly, to write down comments about your question, what you would like to hear, to, to hear from me, what you would like to see from me, uh, and so on and so on. Any Anything from you. And thirdly, uh, we have some uh, information about donation. In the description of this video, you can donate some money uh, on PayPal or on my bank card personally. I can prove you that all donation uh, go to all donations go to people who need care. You will see checks, you will see reports, you will see uh, any information about it, and so on and so on. So, see you next time. Thank you a lot about your your time and goodbye.